You are now tuned in to Jeff Talks Tech. Talks Tech. Talks Tech. What's going down, kids? This is Jeff from Jeff's Talks Tech. Um, today I'll be reviewing everybody's favorite tablet, the iPad Mini. Um, this won't be a super duper, you know, um, thorough review where I'm going to get into the benchmarks and, and actual specs. But what it will be is uh, my thoughts and opinion on um, Apple's uh, latest and greatest. Um, so if we can just jump right in and get started. Everybody has seen this thing, you know, so I won't be doing a full-fledged unboxing. Um, what I can say about um, Apple's design is it's um, it's always flawless. Um, they have some of the nicest um, product lines on the market, nicest looking devices. Um, form factor for me is um, it's been enjoyable. <clears throat> Don't have the biggest hands, but I want to say um, this this fits conveniently um, between my hands, you know, and 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 I do find it comfortable. You know, and it's been enjoyable to use. Um, the three by four aspect ratio um, is it, something that I like. You know, I tend to do a lot of web browsing. There's been a lot of talk of, um, you know, the screen lacks, the screen lacks, the screen's horrible. Um, and what I can say about the screen is it's 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 definitely not a retina display. Um, you know, no no ifs ands or buts about that. But it's it's not horrible. You know. Um, if you want to put it side by side with something, um, I'm going to say it's Evil Twin, um, the Nexus 7. You're going to see that the Nexus 7s um, uh, definitely does have a higher, resolu uh, higher resolution, but everything's kind of squished together, you know, and that's something that um, just, just the width in itself um, has been a pleasure to use um, on Apple's iPad. You know, um, you know what I find is that... Um, you know, small text is actually um, easier to read because of the higher resolution on the Nexus 7. But, you know, at the end of the day, does it make a break? You know, for, for me, I'm going to say no. You know, what I would like to see, and this is a, a whole other video, is um, a Nexus tablet with the same form factor as, as the iPad mini, like a 3 by 4 aspect ratio. Uh, make this bad boy a little bit wider and thin out that bezel. Um, it, it'd actually be perfect. Or, you know... For for the other way to be put, it would just be take to take um, Android 4.2 and then put it on um, the iPad, and that that would probably be my perfect tablet, you know. But um, that's neither here nor there. Um, what I do um, miss because I've I've been using an Android tablet for a while is just um, ease of use. You know, um, I find, um, like many of you tech, uh, tech nerds or geeks out there, um, iOS to be, you know, very dated. Um, and now these are just gripes. These are not, you know, going to make or break um, a decision to purchase a tablet like this or, um, or even that really big of a deal. Just, just minor annoyances that I found coming from um, Android 4.2. Um, for example, um, every application that you own um, must be on the home screen. There's really no way to hide anything other than to um, stick it in a folder. You know, um, and I know you guys are going to get into, yeah, you can jailbreak it, you can do all this. Uh, and I'm talking about stock. You know, I'm running, um, you know, I actually like, um, for the most part, running my device as closest to stock as possible. Um, and you're going to see that I've hid a bunch of miscellaneous apps on the, um, on the third um, home screen, things that I don't use, nor do I want to see. And, you know, for me, that would have just been hidden away in the app drawer, so I tend to, tend to like that a little bit more. Um, what I also don't like about iOS, um, and, and this has nothing to do with the iPad Mini. It's it's more so it's more um, more so an iOS um, um, fault. Um, you know, just changing applications. You know, um, you know, to see what I have open, I have to double tap the home button, and that's going to give me like kind of like a list of everything that I have open. But it's really not a visual representation. It's more so just an icon that you can tap and jump back into an application. So double tap, tap, and you're going to jump into an application. Double tap. Oh, sorry about that. Double tap, and then you're going to tap into an application. So, um, you know, I just I guess I'm just spoiled by um, Android. You know, uh, many of you know that Android does have a very nice, you know, um, task manager. 
per se so you you know one tap it's going to show you everything that you have open and it actually shows you a screenshot of that you know so it's easier to um you know for me it's 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 easier to interact with the different things that i have open and jump in and out or, or actually close things you know um going back to ios you know closing an application requires the same thing i'm going to double tap hold and then I can actually close applications, you know. So not the end of the world, but it's just um, things that take a lot longer to do um, that I can actually get done quicker on the um, on the Android tablet. It'll take a little bit more work to do um, on the iPad. But um, other than that, what I can say about it is the um, the cameras um, have been a pleasure. And like I said, I'm not going to go into crazy um, reviews because I'm not one of those people that's going to walk around with a tablet and, and actually take photos. But um, they're good. You know, they're about as just as good and um, just as good as the camera is in my, um, you know, and you guys will want to see this. I'm currently rocking, you know, Galaxy S3. So I'm going to say the cameras. Um, and yeah, and I was, you know, updating to a nightly, you know. So this thing I don't run stock, <laughs> but um, the camera's just about as good as um, the Galaxy S3, you know, and, and that's one of the major upgrades that I did notice coming from the um, the second generation iPad. You know, I found those cameras to be horrible, you know, to the point where I really didn't even use them because they were just, um, I you know, I just didn't enjoy anything, you know, um, and anything from them. You know, the front-facing camera came in. Um, handy from time to time when I was going to FaceTime someone, um, but other than that, it, it was just, they, they were just horrible, you know, um, so that pretty much sums up, um, just, you know, just a mini review, uh, this is my first video, so if you guys have any questions, comments, things you'd like me to cover, or, you know, you didn't think I just, you know, jumped in, um, you know, deeply enough, you know, definitely, um, leave an opinion. Um, like it, subscribe, you know, let me know what you guys feel. And this is Jeff Talks Tech. Peace.
You are now tuned in. Jeff talks cat. Talks cat. Talks cat.